Okay, what do you need to run a website? You need two things, two. You need a domain name, which I showed you how to get in my first video, so hopefully you've done that, and you need a web host. That's a company that will host all your website files. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to sign up with a web host and then how to point your domain's name servers to that host. The host I'm gonna to recommend today is InMotion Hosting. If you wanna sign up with them, click the link in my description, that'll help me out. If you don't click the link, that's okay too. Honestly, I just want you to have the best experience you can have and where you will really experience trials and tribulations with this whole website business is if you get a host that sucks. Believe me, I've had hosts that suck. Technical support sucks. Wait time suck. You're treated like a number. The technician sounds like they're reading out of a manual. I mean, you just don't get much. I mean, a lot of these companies offer you websites for two bucks a month and they offer unlimited everything. And that includes unlimited headaches. Bottom line is this. I've called in motion at two in the morning, five in the morning. I've called them on holidays. They truly have 24 seven, 365 days a year support. And it is worth the price. So let's go ahead and head on over to InMotion. I will show you how to sign up. I will show you then how to change your domain's name servers to point to InMotion. And if you do decide that you don't wanna go with InMotion because you don't like something about them, just pick a web host that uses cPanel for your, um, for your file manager. cPanel, that's C as in Charlie, panel. Okay, let's go ahead and head on over to InMotion and I'll show you how to get going. Let's do it. What the heck are you waiting for? So here we are at InMotion Hosting. Let's go ahead and click on Business Hosting. Here you will see some options. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna choose Launch. Okay, that's $5.99 a month. And it works great for WordPress websites. Order now. This page will then come up. Go ahead and click on Launch. You can choose a 24 month period or you can choose a 12 month period. It's up to you. The 12 month period costs a dollar a month more. So if you go the 12 month route, you're paying seven bucks a month, plus you're paying the price of your domain name, which is a little bit less than a dollar per month. So we end up at a little less than eight bucks a month. Then once you've chosen, go ahead and click continue. Now here, you're gonna click this option here. I already own this domain or will handle the registration separately because we already signed up with a domain name. In my first video, I showed you how to do that. We picked the domain name niftywebsite.com. Go ahead and type in the domain name and then click continue. Once you do that, they offer you a couple more things here. Uh, we're gonna ignore that and click continue. Okay, now when you get to this page, you gotta fill out this form with your name, blah, 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 Visa card, and then you gotta click purchase. Um, I've already done this with InMotion Hosting, so I'm not gonna do it again. I already have an account with them. I, I don't exactly remember what happens after this, but I think they send you an email with your username and password. Those are things that you obviously need to write down so we, we're done signing up with InMotion after this step, and we have an account now with InMotion, and we also have a domain name. So the next step is showing you how to point your domain's name servers to InMotion. Let's go ahead and head on over to whois.com, and what we're gonna do is click on Login up here in the corner, and we're gonna log in with the email address we used to sign up with Whois and place our domain name order. Okay. Once we're signed in, we click on My Account up here in the corner. We will then come to this page where it says Jump to Domain here in the middle. We're gonna enter our domain name right there and then we're gonna click this little button next to it to jump to our domain. Now that we're here, we're gonna click on Name Servers and we'll see the name servers already put in here because I did it earlier. What you'll see is four name servers with some who is information in them. Go ahead and delete those four name servers out of there and put in these name servers here. They're gonna to have to be exactly like this. ns2.inmotionhosting.com and ns.inmotionhosting.com. Once you've done that, click update name servers and then within 24 hours or so, your website will be live. But obviously we haven't built your website yet so there really won't be anything there yet. But in order to visit your website, you gotta wait about 24 hours for the name server change to take effect. 
Okay, the last thing that we're going to do today is head back over to InMotion and log into our new account. So go to InMotion, click on AMP Login, and then type in your email address and the password that InMotion sent you. And we will log in. Okay, once we are in, we will come to the Account Management panel, which is here. Scroll down just a little bit until you see the login link. Let me scroll down and show you. You will see this, you will see this link, Work in Control Panels. Go ahead and click that link. Okay, once you click on that link, you'll get to this page. See this link that says cPanel Login? You're gonna to wanna to click that link. After you click that link, you end up here. This is your control panel. This is the cPanel. Once you're in here, you can install WordPress, you can set up your email accounts, you can track your stats. Uh, it's the place where you pretty much control everything and run everything. So, today we've learned just a few things. Let me recap for you. We've learned how to sign up for a good web host and things to look for. We've learned how to point our domain's web servers to our web host and we have learned how to log into the cPanel. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your email addresses, and I'm gonna show you how to install WordPress, and we're gonna get going on all this. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video coming soon.